So hi all. In the previous class we have discussed about what is rotor induced EMF. In this class we will discuss about what is uh, rotor resistance, reactance, and impedance. So we already know rotor resistance is denoted by R two. Means we can say that uh, stator resistance and rotor resistance uh, both are constant. Okay. So general rotor resistance is denoted by stator resistance is R two. So R two is called uh, stator stator uh, resistance. Okay. Next R two R equal to Rotor resistance. We can say that both stator resistance and rotor resistance both are uh, equal because or uh, constant because uh, both are independent of uh, frequency. B resistance does not depends upon frequency. Coming to the reactance, reactance is depends on frequency. Generally, reactance is denoted by x two. Okay, reactance is denoted by x two. It is nothing but uh, x two. So we already know that x two, x two. X two is equal to what is the formula for X two? X two equal to two pi F L. Coming to the rotor reactance, we can say that rotor reactance is nothing but uh, stator reactance is nothing but X two and rotor reactance is nothing but uh, X two R. Coming to the standstill position, for example, if we consider at standstill, the reactance will be X two. So X two is equal to nothing but uh, standstill. Standstill. Rotor, rotor, reactance, and the rotor reactance. What is the formula for rotor reactance? X two is equal to two pi F L. This is the stator reactance or rotor reactance at standstill. Coming to the running condition. So what happens in the running condition? During running condition, uh, the rotor reactance will be due to the difference between stator and rotor speed. So X two R will be the Rotor reactance. So X two R is equal to what is the formula? Two pi F R L. We can clearly state that rotor reactance always X two is always directly proportional to frequency, right? Say F is the nothing but uh, uh, standstill frequency. F R is nothing but uh, running frequency. So this is the equation. We can state it as equation one, and this one as equation two. So divide equation one. So divide equation two by one. So we can clearly term that. X two R so divide so divide divide equation two by equation one so X two R by X two right X two R is directly proportional to two pi F R L so F is nothing but uh, F is nothing but stator frequency F is nothing but uh, what is this stator frequency F R is nothing but uh, rotor frequency. We already derived this uh, formula for uh, both stator and rotor frequency. So X two is nothing but two uh, pi F L. So coming to this two uh, pi and two pi gets cancelled. L and L both gets uh, cancelled. So X two R by X two, right? X two X two R by X two is equal to F R by F. So we already know that F R by F. We already know that uh, what is the formula for uh, what is the formula for uh, rotor frequency? What is the formula for rotor frequency? F R. What is the rotor uh, formula for rotor frequency? F R equal to S into F, right? We already derived this formula. How? So F R equal to nothing but uh, S into F. So F can be uh, written like this. How the F can be written? So F equal to or S can be written like this. S equal to S equal to F R by F, right? S equal to F R by F. So look at this uh, equation F R by F. Hence, this equation can be replaced by using a uh, slip. So X two, X two R by X two is equal to slip. And now X two R equal to what is the formula? X two R equal to what is the formula? X two R equal to S into X two. So this is the formula for uh, rotor. Reactants. What is this? This is the formula for rotor reactants. This is the formula for rotor reactants. Coming to the impedance, we already know that. So impedance also impedance is nothing but a combination of both resistance and uh, reactants. Okay. How we will write the impedance? Impedance is denoted by Z two at standstill. Again, at uh, stand still. At standstill, uh, what is the impedance? Z two. Okay. First of all, rotor impedance is denoted by Z two. Z two is equal to R two plus J. X two, right? So this is the imaginary term. Uh, hence, we, to find the magnitude, uh, we will use this formula: Z two equals square root of uh, R two square plus uh, X two square. 
this is nothing but uh, impedance uh, at standstill or uh, stator impedance what is this stator uh, stator impedance uh, or uh, impedance uh, of rotor at uh, standstill what is this impedance impedance uh, of uh, rotor at uh, stand still at standstill condition uh, there will be no rotor uh, speed so that is nothing but r2 square plus uh, x2 square coming to the uh, at running condition what is this at uh, running condition let it be terming as uh, at running condition or at uh, okay one second so it will be at uh, running uh, condition okay at uh, running condition what happens in the running condition during the running condition okay during the running condition the impedance will be z2 r z2 r is nothing but uh, r2 r plus j x2 r we know that uh, both uh, rotor resistance and uh, resistance rotor resistance resistance uh, of both uh, of both stator and rotor are same stator and rotor uh, are independent of frequency or independent of slip we can state it both so independent of uh, independent of frequency independent of frequency or uh, independent of uh, slip independent of independent of uh, slip we can clearly state it okay so now coming to the z2r again z2r can be written like this z2r equal to nothing but uh, r2r or both are same okay we can state that uh, r2 square plus uh, x2 r whole square right so z2r is nothing but x2r we already know that what is the reactance formula already we have derived on the upside okay so coming to that uh, x2r formula x2r is equal to s x2 already we have derived this condition how it will be created. this is nothing but rotor reactance now coming to the formula z2 r is equal to square root of uh, r2 square plus uh, sx2 sx2 whole square so this is the formula for uh, rotor what is this this is the formula for rotor uh, this is the formula for rotor impedance so we have derived two formulas what is the stator impedance and rotor impedance so stator impedance what is the formula for stator impedance stator impedance is nothing but uh, so stator impedance is nothing but stator stator impedance what is the stator impedance stator impedance uh, is denoted by z2 okay rotor impedance is denoted by rotor impedance uh, is denoted by z2 r so stator impedance z2 is equal to what is this formula r2 plus j x2 and z2 is equal to square root of uh, r2 square plus uh, x2 square so this is the formula for okay this is the formula for uh, what is this stator impedance coming to the rotor impedance so z2 r equal to r2 r plus j x2 r now what is the formula z2 r is equal to square root of uh, r2 square plus uh, what is this sx2 whole square this is the formula for rotor impedance so this is the difference between stator impedance and rotor impedance so in the problem the formula will be used very much okay so coming to this uh, this topic is complete in the next class we will discuss about what is rotor current and what is a rotor power factor i hope you understood this class clearly if you like this class please like share and subscribe thank you